Hello, I'm Chris Williams, and I'm here with another review, and oh god, we're reviewing Goddess Mode, issue 5. We'll start off by the cover, by Robbie Rodriguez. He does both the interior art as well as the cover. And the coloring was done by Rico Renzi. Uh, breathe in that artwork. A giant mouth on that woman's belly. Her being a witch. Some girl with a sword or something in front of her. I think that's the main character, Cassandra Price. A lot of the characters look alike in this in this series. And this is the first issue I've, I'm reading, and maybe it's unfair, but I'll get more into how bad this comic is in, in after we're done with the cover. The cover is bad. It's just a mess of badly drawn blocks and an awful-looking character designs. I mean, honestly, the woman has an eye patch. She has a, she's a witch. She's got flowing hair. And her chest is, has a, an arcane symbol. Okay, our belly has an arcane symbol. And we start off with one of the characters. I don't, I'm not quite sure who this is. But she's one of the witches in this series. She was trying to summon this, the spirit. I'm pretty sure the spirit that uh, Cassandra Price will be talking to. She's a spirit that controls the cybernetic magical world here. I think that's her there. But she's been split into pieces, and she and this woman here, she might be Cassandra Pierce, but I'm not quite sure. But as we'll get into it, uh, the real problem with this is the word balloons. The letterer, I should go into this. Uh, the writer, Zoe Quinn, she wrote too many words here. It's just one block after another of meaningless, meaningless Buffy speak. Or, uh, you know, the guy, uh, or call Josh Whedon speak. <sighs> the guy really did a disservice to, to all of uh, fan media. Because everyone continuously keeps trying to copy the way his characters speak in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is as bad as as Harry Potter. <sighs> Everyone keeps copying them. And they don't come up with anything good. Here we see the main character dealing with with uh, with the memories of the woman she had just tried to, to summon. This is what she was supposed to look like. Instead, she had ended up causing a corpse of her to appear. Well, it really doesn't matter anymore because she gets, gets kidnapped by demons and sucked down into hell. We'll talk more about her later on because I'm pretty sure this is her. We'll be seeing her again later on in the comic book. Well, either way, the artwork is horrible. It's supposed to be punkish, but this isn't punk. The entire thing is so mealy-mouthed with such dialogue that you really hate it. This isn't punk. The, trying to draw them as punk doesn't make them punk. Here we have three other characters, and this is another problem. See the black woman here? Later on, I'm pretty sure Cassandra Price pretty much looked exactly like her, with at least a similar hairstyle. Well, I'm... I'm assuming that it was the same character we just saw on the last page, but so I can barely tell them apart. Well, either way, we, these other two characters that are with her, they try to get out of a trap or something, and they manage to break out, and they end up fighting demons, and they continuously keep speaking and Buffy speak and meaningless stuff. Oh, and by the way, the black woman is also a lesbian. Most of the women in this thing seem to be lesbians, or at least a few of them are. We'll, we'll learn more about them them in a few moment, moments. And as these women are fighting these demons, these are computer demons, it's sort of like uh, computer programs that have been made into demon entities. After they're, they free themselves, they realize something has happened to the world. They realize the world is going to end, so they all stop. Another problem with this thing is the black woman. I couldn't really tell if she was black from her skin color in the last few pages. We see here she looks black, but she has orange hair. Well, the other ones look, uh, aren't really, well, if not for the hair, they'd be, look exactly the same, wouldn't they? And they're all just, just such girly, 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 girly. Zoe Quinn really did something bad here. Now, I'm assuming, now this is Cassandra Pierce, our main character with the orange hair, 
and the dark skin. As you can see, she basically looks exactly the same, same as that other character. Here she's fighting, fighting the main demon, the witch demon woman, who was basically in a relationship with that computer girl, the other, the, the spirit that the woman was trying to summon. Well, she was getting angry at her and she decided to get rid of Cassandra Pierce. Now we're back with the other three characters, the other three witches, and they realize they can't save the world, so they decide to split up and go see their families because they know they can't save the world. And this one woman, this blonde woman, asks them to stay, and she basically has a mental breakdown because they... Because she thinks thinks that at least they could keep trying to do something that saved the world, or the other two just want to go go home and see their family. She here she's breaking down. The other woman got drunk before she went home, and wh what happens is the first stages of the end of the world happen, and the people that are close to them are being are suffering from magical computer virus thing, which causes them to apparently go into a coma as their life force is being drained away out of them or something. Or at least their minds are breaking down. So they can't do anything to stop it. And and they're and them wanting to spend time with their families completely completely is pointless as they're either unconscious or gone. The woman who was a lesbian goes back to her family and she finds that they're all gone. No they're not none of them are home. And as you can see, the whatever's happening to these people is affecting the entire world. People are falling unconscious, and they're see and they're hallucinating, and and or uh, or or dying. People in prison are suffering immense amounts of pain from being imprisoned, but also because the, their life force is being drained out of them. We go back to the woman who had been who had been beating up Cassandra Price. She was in a relationship with the little spirit creature you see in front of her. That's the same creature that the other one was trying to summon. And it turns out she's been split into pieces. And only part of her is the part of her can be able to talk to her. And she's this woman with the white hair and the eye patch is sad because this little blue fairy creature in front of her can't remember them being in a relationship. As I said, there are more lesbians in this. And what, what happens to Cassandra Price? Well, after the other one, witch tried to kill her, or at least did kill her, Cassandra Price went to, a, went to hell, or rather a sort of hell. This is where the pieces of the woman who had been split into, into different entities had ended up. This is the part of her that wasn't able to be controlled by the guy who, who uh, caused her to be split into little pieces and be able to, and to be used as a weapon or a tool. Well, she went, ended up going into this hell space as well. And she's been waiting for someone like Cassandra Price to come and, come and see her. And she tells Cassandra Price the only way out is that she must wish it really hard because she has, Cassandra Price is the special and she has the power to remake the world. Unfortunately, in doing so, she will have to pay an incredibly deep price. And Cassandra Price isn't really keen on actually doing that. Well, Cassandra Price decides that if she has all this power, maybe there's a way to use it without having to pay the price, or rather altering the program itself. Uh, yeah, I love this writing. Uh, Zoe, Qu Zoe Quinn is really good. Oh, yes. So you have rules in this world you've set up, but you insist on altering the rules so you can have a mushy-mushy happy ending, right? Uh. Well, she, Cassandra Price here uses her power, and as I can say, I can barely tell the difference between her and the black woman here. They look exactly the same with orange hair. And she uses it, uses it to summon the other witches as well as power them up to their most to their most powerful abilities so they can rework, remake the world into what they want it to be. See, we even see the woman, well, I'm assuming the woman with the eye patch. she appears to now be on their side now because apparently doing... Using Cassandra Price, using her power like that, has decided, has altered things, allowing them maybe to become friends now. And it's sort of all over the place in this issue. I tried reading this comic book as much as possible, but it was so boring. And it was all over the place with, with me be, being able to hardly understand it. And we see at the end of this comic book that they are going to do something that will alter the world. And this comic was just bad. Even though I don't know much about what this series and I read it, the writing in this is, was just horrible. You should not be make every sentence coming out of someone's mouth a paragraph. 
It was boring, it was unrealistic, and it was bad. If you like this review, subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed, hit that bell and leave a like, and leave some comments down below. Remember, keep checking back with me every day with, because I release new videos every day, because eventually I'm going to announce, announce my Indiegogo for my own inde independent comic book, Scum Dogs. And remember, out when I release it, you'll be the you'll be the first to know when I announce it in an upcoming video someday. Well, that's all for now.